Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and Travis Kalanick is the CEO who just won't go away. Guy got ousted from his own company, and don't let the resign statement fool you. He, he was fired for all intents and purposes. And yet, we just can't stop talking about him because new stuff keeps coming up which shows just how unstable this man was. And uh, no more is that nowhere is that more evident than court filings today where some emails between Uber and Google have leaked from the court filings basically showing that Travis Kalanick was trying desperately to get in contact with Larry Page, who is the head of Google, basically to try to form a partnership on the self-driving car situation. Now, why is this important? Well, Uber, I believe, was the ones who filed this, basically showing, like, you know, because they're getting sued, and now they've got to fight this lawsuit that Kalanick got them into. And they're trying to show that, hey, Uber and Travis Kalanick personally, we were trying to partner with Google. We were trying to partner on the self-driving cars, and they were an investor. We couldn't understand why they weren't meeting with us, and it's just despicable behavior. And if they knew why that... Um, Anthony Lewandowski had downloaded all these documents. Why didn't they inform Uber of this? Which, you know, my answer is probably because I didn't know he was going to form a company and Uber would buy it. But, you know. So, the email, that's basically Uber's game plan to try to show that, hey, we were trying to be good, Google wouldn't partner with us. And, I mean, yeah, you have to go with whatever you have to work with. And Uber, admittingly, doesn't seem to have a whole lot to work with in this case. It's, uh, I mean, basically, they're in a situation where even bad stuff they have is going to be spun to look somewhat good if they can try. Because the main stuff is just so damning. It's just so damning. But even these emails actually more or less support that Kalanick probably deliberately went after Google. And in fact, he probably had a bone to pick with Google because these emails, and you can read them below, you can read them below and there's a Business Insider article that you know shows them and comments on them so lovely. But from my personal opinion, it showed a CEO who was out of control and felt entitled. He believed that and I don't know when he got the idea of the self-driving car that Uber could do that. I don't I don't believe for a second it was from the company's inception because it's like I mean that seems like an extension. I mean the the idea like, hey, what if you could just tap a button and get a ride in a few minutes? That's not an idea that follows up with and what if we build a company that eventually will have a self-driving car? No, you you start at step one. You build the app, you hire the drivers, and then when you have the drivers, then you start looking at how much the drivers take home, which at the time was way more considerable than what they're taking home now. Then it's kind of like, huh, what if we could eliminate, what if we got that money instead? What if we got that money? So the idea of a self-driving car is did not start at the beginning of Uber, but because Uber had basically had a corner monopoly on the ride sharing business for the time being, I believe Kalanick felt entitled to keep it. That is why he went to such extreme lengths to try to put Lyft under. And when he heard that Google was making self-driving cars, I think he got butt hurt, quite frankly, where it was like, hey, 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 you invest in us. We have a service. Why are we not partnering? That That's our ultimate goal. That's my goal. And he tried to reach it to Larry Page for a partnership immediately. And then Larry Page ultimately wasn't interested in partnering. Now, Google might have invested in Uber as a concept, but Google was not developing the self-driving cars for Uber. They still aren't. And I think that's what bothered Kalanick, is that he felt they should have been loyal. And he felt like, hey, that's my turf. I'm entitled to it. I'm entitled to this market and you're gonna pay. We're gonna make sure you pay. And I believe um, that whether he instigated Lewandowski's little 14,000 document download or whatever, or not, he definitely encouraged it. He definitely encouraged it. Um, in fact, the more I read these emails and the more the tone of it is, 
you remember that little quote how um you know Kalanick was informed that Lewandowski had downloaded this these documents and he was like well you're forbidden from taking that information to Uber I'm betting you it was more like well you know you're forbidden from taking that information to to Uber like you know the, it's just kind of how it is and so what these emails show me is that Kalanick um, in terms of this self-driving car mess, for whatever reason, he felt like the idea was his. He felt like the market was his. He felt like for another company, even one that had invested in his company, did not deserve to be in it. And so that's why he was doing it. In fact, it even kind of makes sense why he pushed so heavily for this now. Because I have stated many, 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 many times that Uber's self-driving future is actually way more expensive than if they have the drivers because the drivers pay for their car maintenance they bought pay for their insurance they do all these things that uber does not have to maintain but once uber has their own fleet of cars guess what they got to own the cars they got to maintain the cars without a driver to, to police it people will puke in the cars and they will destroy the cars and those need to be fixed and it would be way, way more expensive. So why would Uber want it? And I think the answer might be because Google wanted it. Google wanted self-driving cars. And what Kalanick was afraid of was those cars imposing on his business. He didn't want people to stop using Uber for the driverless cars. Now, granted, I think people will be leasing those driverless cars, but, you know, whatever. And so that's why he pushed and he ran forward like a bull. He saw red. And he staked his company's future on it. And it's a future that the company would be foolish to pursue to the extent that they have. I'm not saying they should completely stop researching it. I mean, from a business perspective, there is some merit to thinking about the driverless cars. But... Maybe not as a complete replacement, maybe only in certain areas or for certain industries would the self-driving cars be practical. I could personally see, for example, Uber having a fleet of cars and partnering with hospitals or um, L, you know, retirement homes to get the sick and the elderly from point A to point B in small communities where they can have predetermined routes and very little could potentially go wrong. In cities like LA and New York City, Chicago, Miami, this isn't practical. But okay, but I'm getting off topic, of course. Um, and I've been told I ramble too much sometimes. So yeah, these emails are very telling. They show a very aggressive man, a very entitled man, probably a very spoiled man, who felt Google owed him a partnership, which they did not. They absolutely did not owe, owe him a partnership. Fe felt that this was his turf that they were getting on, which they were not. They were not getting on his turf, regardless how you spin it. I mean, you know, that, some people can explain how it could eventually have gone on his turf, but you know, at that point in time, they weren't imposing on his turf, and it's not his turf. And um, the third, maybe. I think he honestly thinks he was the first person to think of a driverless car. And he's not. We've been thinking about driverless cars for years. It's just we're getting a little closer to actually making them. And when I say a little closer, I mean 50 years close, you know, closer. But, you know. So, and for some of you who are going to comment, I know you're going to comment because I made a video where it's like I feel sorry for Kalanick as a human being. And I stand by that. I feel sorry for him because... Here's the thing I want to clarify. Uber was Kalanick's baby. Uber was Kalanick's creation. Uber was Kalanick's legacy, and his legacy is in shatters. And this guy does not strike me as a guy who has very many friends. And um, you know what? Yeah, I empathize. If this is your legacy, and this is what happens, then wow. W what's your life about? I guess you can sleep with your money, but... You know, if you've seen any biopic about famous people, or Jack Horseman for that matter, you know that money really only goes so far. And with that said, I can feel sorry for him while still reading stuff like this and acknowledging that, yeah, 
he needed to be booted. They did a good thing in the long run. And he he's needed to learn a hard, hard, hard lesson. And I don't know if he's learned that lesson yet. I, I hope he continues to learn that lesson. But this was a truly unstable man. This was a truly unstable man. These emails confirm that. I'm really looking forward to the court date starting this whole trial thing. I, I think this channel is going to get hot. Hot, hot, hot. I, I might even have to be uploading five or six videos a day because who knows how much information is going to come from it. This is crazy when I think about how much I'm reporting before it's even started. But anyway, uh, I, I didn't mean for it to ramble so much or to go on as long as it did. So uh, what do you folks think? Have you read the emails? What do you think of Kalnick's personality? What do you think of his character? Do you think he was right in his grievances with Google or do you believe he was wrong? And that maybe had he been a little patient, maybe Google might have eventually partnered with him anyway. They just didn't know what they want to do with the cars now, which of course is the biggest problem with Uber driver, not Uber, Google driverless cars is honestly, I think they're making them just to make them. Kind of like the Google Glass, which also ended up failing. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you want to consider driving for Uber or Lyft, well, well, you still can, and collect a bonus while you're at it, there are referral links below. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.